Do you find yourself always going to the same style of fabric to make a quilt? I know I do. Well, today we're gonna show you how any three yard quilt pattern can go with any style of fabric. Keep watching. We wanted to pop in real quick and tell you we are so excited to share the winner of our contest. That's right. Just a couple of weeks ago, we put it out to you, letting you know that you could vote on, on the quilt that you liked best, and that would become a kit. And so the winner is... Option B, this moody, fun blues and grays. And the number is 8022036, Citrus Delight. Gallery is the pattern, and it's from the book Modern Views. Thanks so much for participating. We know you are as excited as we are. Hi, it's Donna Robertson. And Fran Morgan with Fabric Cafe. We have a fun show today with lots and lots of pieces and yes, parts. Yes, yes. So you're going to want to watch this because when it comes to picking out fabric, I gravitate to pretty much the same style for my personal use. Mm -hmm. But as you well know, I buy all these different styles and we found that no matter what style fabric you use, you can find the perfect pattern with three yard quilts. Absolutely, so we do have lots of pieces and parts and I'm so excited because you can take it any direction you wanna go with your fabric. Well, let's get started. Let's do it. All right, the first one, this is Checkmate and it's often one of the first patterns that people make because it has this big wide um, strip and then you have a four patch down here and it's super easy to make. This particular one, the style is maybe more for um, a, a baby or someone that you need to cheer up because it has these great uh, words like kindness and listen and it's a new day and shine. So it has all these inspirational wor words. So whether you're wanting to cheer up a friend, make it for a baby, it's a great quilt. Now let's look at that. We'll put it up here. And um, this one is considered a row quilt and it does go together super, super fast. As I said, you're going to do this wide strip here. That's your number one fabric. And then your number two fabric has this cute little print. I just think this is so cute. It almost looks like little um, little drops of like a, a gumdrop drop, or yeah. something like I that. I think of popsicles. Oh, <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> Here's our story for the day. Uh, so this is our number two fabric. And you figure out which is number two by comparing your uh, remaining two fabrics. Focus, two is the light, three is the dark, and once again, more inspirational I words on this border. So this is a wonderful quilt, a wonderful gift quilt, I think. And it is Love Blossoms 8021830. And it's Checkmate Pattern. Quilts for Kids is the book that that pattern is in. But what if you wanted to go a little different direction? Well, you can certainly do that simply by changing up your fabric choices. So we have another version of Checkmate that's a little bit different twist. So this is, would be great for one of the guys in your life. And it's got lots of baseballs and balls and all these different kinds of things on it and a perfect theme. And it's amazing how it changed up just with changing the fabric. Don't forget, any three yard quilt pattern will use any three yards of fabric. So let's stick that on the table and look what we have for you today. So I love this. So like we said, this is a great guys themed quilt and I love this fabric choice, but we have another one that is even more fun. This is for maybe the bigger guys in your life. Yes. <laughs> and these are great, are they trucks? All different kinds of trucks. Mm -hmm. I know that my husband has an older truck and he is so excited about restoring it. He is. He talks about it all the time. This would be great because he loves old trucks. I don't know. But I have to tell you, this is not my style personally mm -hmm. because my car has been in the shop and I have been driving my husband's truck <laughs> and I'm big. so excited because they called me this morning and said it was ready <laughs> and I will happily give the truck back <laughs> but this is cool so my I mean like I said my husband loves trucks so he would love this yes so this is would be the number one fabric and it would go in the big uh, mm -hmm. strip block here and then our number two fabric, oh, this is hilarious, it's tires. <laughs> and tire tracks. <laughs> I love it. And this would be the number two fabric that would be in your pieced strip. 
And then the number three, which is the darkest of those two, would go also in the stripped piece and the border here. And this is great. This almost looks like tire prints or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> it's great. So the kit number on this one is 8022063. It's called Garage Fun. And once again, the pattern is Checkmate. And you know, this really is an example of changing up the style mm -hmm. because I'm like Miss Pollyanna, so I've got all those fun words and everything. Oh, and so then the, you've got the truck. The first one would be yeah. perfect for you. <laughs> so keep watching because we have uh, pieces and parts on this one. This one's called So Quick, and it is just one of the most popular patterns that we have because I think any, any style of fabric looks great in it with the big block here and then the four patch here. So let's put that up here. We have some new fabric to show you with pieces and parts. Now, if you are um, new to our program, we always give you a black and white diagram of the quilt with a polka dot for the focus fabric. And then you compare the, the next two fabrics that are left over and take the white box as your number two and the black box as your number three. Now, the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to cut a very simple block like this. We'll put that here, and I love, love, love this pattern of this fabric. fabric. Did I did I tell you I love this fabric? It, yes. Yeah, it's but gorgeous. But tell me again because it is I worthy of it. another love. <laughs> <laughs> Here's our strip piece. So you make this long strip piece by the width of the fabric, and you're going to cut units off of the side of that strip piece. So we're going to cut these two units. Super simple, easy mm -hmm. to do. And those become your, um, your four patch down here. And you simply do that. So if you were seeing those side by side, you turn it like so. Now we still have our seam allowances on that, but that gives you an opportunity to see that. And then we have one that's finished up here as well. So let's, let's take the cropping tool oh, and show yes. them how pretty this is. And um, I'm only gonna crop the two blocks for you. So we have this one, <clears throat> excuse me, and we have this one down here. And, um, oh, you this need gives a little... you, yeah, let me have the card okay. for you. Yeah. So we'll put this here. Thank you. And this here. So you can oh, wow. really see these beautiful colors together. Isn't that great? Don't you just love this one? <gasps> I love this one. How did you know? <laughs> All right, so let's take this and put that over here and show you this beautiful fabric up close and personal. So this are, these are the wildflowers, aren't they just gorgeous? They are. And then you've got your number two fabric compared, light, dark, and they just look so good together. Love, love, love. I, did mm -hmm. I tell you I love this one? I, <laughs> boy, it's great. All right, so this one is called Local Blooms 8022064. So quick is your pattern. It's from the book Quilt Favorites. And remember, I told you right up front that this particular one is um, one of our best sellers because just about anything looks good in this. So let's change the style up, yeah. friend. Let's change it up. So we have another one here. And don't you just love pieces and parts? Mm -hmm. They really help Lots us. Lots of pieces and parts. So we have this really great fabric here. And I love how colorful it is and crisp and clean. And whenever I was 15, I would have died for this quilt. <laughs> I, love, I would have loved this. It's just so what I was whenever I was 15. Yes. It's great now. <laughs> So you haven't outgrown it. Huh? I have not outgrown it. No, no. I think it's pretty cool. <laughs> so we've got our pieces and parts here. So this is our big block, our number one focus fabric. We'll go in the big block. And then we've just put the four patch together for you. And that is going to go right here. I love how it picks up the yellow. Oh my and, um, goodness. Mm -hmm. Do we have that cropping tool? You are <laughs> at the ready, aren't you? <laughs> I was at the ready for sure. All right, and I love this turquoise and yellow together. I think it is just absolutely striking and gives you so much sunshine and bright mm -hmm. and fun. So it's definitely a quilt for the young and the mm -hmm. young at heart. And you know what? It's very different mm -hmm. than the one with the flowers, which we loved that one, but this one is great. 
So such a different look, same pattern, just different fabric choices. That's cool. Okay, let's look at the fabric on this one. So our number one is the Focus fabric and it is this great print. And then our number two is this yellowy buttery gold, mm, which is gorgeous. I love it. And what's really neat about this fabric is it has like a, oh, it's, it's almost like a- it shimmer. It does, it has a shimmer, which is really cool. And then this gorgeous, gorgeous turquoise. And look how the number one fabric just matches that turquoise mm, perfectly. So the number on this is 8022065. It is called Stardust, and we are using our So Quick pattern from Quilt Davids. All right. Well, let's take these off, and what we're going to do next is show you one more version. So we had the first version that was the kind of quilt that you would make for me because <laughs> it was so pretty. Mm -hmm. uh, however, I, I like the one we would make for you, but now let's have a, another completely one. different style. Yes. Now let's go a little bit more elegant and Ooh. traditional. So on this one, we have pieces and parts again. We're going to have our one block, put that on top of the, um, the 10 inch block. And then look, 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 is this wow. gorgeous or what? I love this one too. And I love the way the, the coloration in this, it has the gold tones in it and it really is an elegant quilt. Wow. So we had the fun and uh, I used to know how to do this. <laughs> okay, let's do it this way and see if it works better. There you go. Great. Uh, I get so excited about the fabric, I, I quit paying attention to what I'm doing. All right, we'll put this one here. So this is an elegant. So we had the the uh, kind of traditional wildflower. We had the fun one for the kids yep. and the young at heart. And now we have the traditional for those who have the more elegant decor. It is gorgeous. And what I really think is cool is that these this quilt pattern is very simple and fast to make. And we have really changed the style of the quilt just by changing mm -hmm. the fabric choice. And you can do that with a lot of the three yard quilts. In fact, mm -hmm. all of them, because awesome. any three yards will work with any, any. pattern. Yep. It is just great. It is great. All right, let's take a look at the fabric. Let me give that to you. Okay. And what we have here is this gorgeous uh, fall leaves with the metallic outline. Gorgeous, gorgeous. And then we've got this gold tone uh, swirl that is just gorgeous just too. Beautiful. And this one, this is such an interesting one here with the wavy lines that are gold and the little gold squares. It really, you can still see that it's black, but it really does lighten the quilt. And I like that as well. It does. And you know what's really cool about the gold? The manufacturer has gotten so good at doing this that it no longer feels thick or, or oh, no, it's hard like they used to, like when you were sewing with them. Well, hopefully you can see while I'm, I'm doing this petting that you can see <laughs> how it kind of ripples. It's just a very, very soft fabric. It's, it's perfect. All right, so it's autumn, whoops. Oh, radiance. Okay, my, my upside down reading skills <laughs> failed me for a minute. <laughs> Eight zero two two zero six six autumn radiance. So Quick is your pattern. It also is available in the book Quilt Favorites. And if you have fallen in love with three of these kits, you can get a free book uh -huh. instead of the little patterns. Uh -huh. And you can get eight patterns. So you pick out three kits that you're gonna buy, because I know you're gonna love every one of these, uh, and you get the book free. Awesome, awesome. So our next quilt that we have up is Tic Tac. Tic Tac, once again, is using this great big block, which I love because it really shows off the fabric well, which means you can really change the style up as well because you see so much of the beautiful fabric. So let's see what we've got for this one. So even better, we have pieces and parts, which I love. So it, Tic Tac is in our Easy Peasy book. So I'm just gonna flip over here and show you that. Now, What's really cool about Tic Tac, it is done in vertical rows, which is very cool. And then we strip piece the sashing pieces, which is cool. It's very, very fast. Mm -hmm. And you can see here that we've got our different fabrics. Our focus fabric always is representative of the polka dot. We call that fabric number one. And then our number two is white and our number three is the black. So let's look at this. 
So we have this gorgeous batik. Wow. And to me, I look at this and I just think it screams beachy water fun, Ooh. you know. <laughs> yeah, it does. It would make a great lake house quilt Ooh, or a beach it quilt. It would. Yeah. It would. So like I said and mentioned before, we do build Tic Tac in vertical rows instead mm -hmm. of horizontal rows, which is kind of what we think of normally. But and we also strip pieced that block too. Yes, that's right. So let me just mention that we had a long piece here and a long piece here and a long piece here. Mm -hmm. Sewed them all together and then we cut this piece off or the hunk off, you know. <laughs> Back to hunks again. <laughs> but we do call them units in units, the pattern. Yes. <laughs> Fran just prefers using hunks. <laughs> well, you know. <laughs> okay, so we've got block. That's that's, that's a block. And so then we have just a regular normal block that would be sewn on next. And you know, by just looking at the pattern, you might not snap to how that goes together. Isn't that funny? You're right. Whenever I first saw Tic Tac, I did not realize. Mm -hmm. So you are absolutely right. It, but it goes together so easily and so quickly. So I'm just going to put this down here. And you, I am going to this one is the same as that one. It is, yes. Mm -hmm. So that's coming off the same strip pieced unit, mm -hmm. same strip pieced strip piece assembly. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'll get my terms right. <laughs> and then the very last block on the row actually is strip pieced as well, but it just has the two fabrics. Mm -hmm. And then that will go all the way down at the bottom. It's going to be really pretty. Now, really cool. This is also strip pieced, mm -hmm. which makes this super, super simple. This is our sashing row. And that would go here. Now I don't have these lined up perfectly, but I think you get the idea and you can see how gorgeous this color combination would be. Mm -hmm. And all that strip piecing makes it go together so, so fast. So fast. I agree. Mm -hmm. I absolutely agree. So let's look at this gorgeous fabric. And you know, I think I could see this not only at like a lake or a beach house, but I could see it in if you're kind of more modern and have mm -hmm. kind of a simpler taste in your home, I think it would be gorgeous in there as mm -hmm. well. Yeah, so very artsy. It is, it definitely is. So here we have our focus fabric, which is this gorgeous batik in the blues and purples. And then as our number two, we have the gray batik, which is very cool because it looks like the blues and the purples almost came from this fabric. Oh, I mean, it's yeah. so perfectly matched on this. That's a good point. Yeah. And then our number three fabric is this yummy turquoise and purple here. And look how perfect that goes together. I love Just, the teaks. I do too. They're so pretty. I really, really like them. So this kit is number 8022067. It is called Sweet Dreams. And it is our Tic Tac pattern, which is available as an individual, or it's also available in the book Easy Peasy. Now let's switch it up again, because we want everybody to have it their yeah. way. So this one is, wow. This is a wow quilt. You look at this and you go, wow. Cave fabric too, it's just gorgeous. And this, I have to tell you that Fran made this quilt and she has some gold chairs in her house and took a picture on that gold chair. And I was like, wow. Well, that's why I think I'm just saying that. We should have named this particular one, wow. But it has two different blocks. It is sashed, same exact way that Fran was making that batik. And let's take a look at it. So just as she showed you, you make your, your block here. Why don't you give me the cropper and I'll oh, just yes. show them once again. It's just super simple, easy way to make a quilt by s actually um, strip piecing like so. And there's that piece that you mm -hmm. showed with the batiks. And then here's the single block by itself. And then, so this one causes the strip piecing, the uh, sashing here. And then this one is a repeat of this one. So it puts the other part of the sashing there. It's so easy. It is very easy. <laughs> so let's take a look at this fabric. The fabric number one is going to go right here. The fabric number two will go in the secondary block. And your fabric number two also becomes your little squares in the sashing. 
So I wanted to do it that way so that it would add a little more light and bright to your mm -hmm. uh, quilt. And then this one is your fabric number three, which is the sashing. Gorgeous, gorgeous fabric. And I love the way that the solid black on the sashing kind of helps give your eye that place to rest so that you can really, really appreciate the vibrancy mm -hmm. and color of the other fabrics. And you know, another thing that I really like about Free Spirit fabrics is they are so silky and soft. Mm, they are really, really nice quality uh, fabrics that they use. So it's 8020-687, Aviary Mosaic, Tic Tac is your pattern. Easy Peasy is the book that that pattern is in. Well, it's been wonderfully fun to see all of the different styles mm -hmm. and how you can change it up simply by changing your fabric. You can have it your way with three yard quilts. <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Ring the bell so you get notification of future videos from us and be sure and share with your friends. Thanks for watching.